Dear students, let us solve some examples based on basic proportionality theorem. The first question is based on this diagram given. The question is in this triangle PQR, the length of segment PM is 15, length of segment PQ is 25, length of segment PR is given to be 20, and the length of segment NR is 8. From this one, we have to decide whether the line NM is parallel to side RQ or not. Now, if you consider this triangle, the lengths of side PM, PQ are given. From, from that, we can find the length of MQ. In the same way, the length of segment PR and NR are given. And from that, we can find PN. We have to decide whether segment NM is parallel to side RQ or not. So for that, we are going to use the converse of basic proportionality theorem. So for that, first of all, we should find the ratios of two segments which are being done by NM. For this one, let us consider triangle PQR in which segment NM divides two sides PR and PQ at points N and M. So due to this, we have got two smaller segments PN and NR on side PR and PM and MQ on side PQ. So first of all, we should find the lengths of all these four segments. For that, let us consider in triangle PQR, we have PQ is equal to PM plus MQ as PM and Q are collinear points. So we can have this relation. Now out of this, the length of PQ is given to be 25. Length of PM is also given 15. So we'll replace here plus MQ. If we take 15 to the left hand side, it will be 25 minus 15 is equal to MQ. If we solve this 25 minus 15, that's 10. So MQ is equal to 10. In the same way, for other side PR, we have PR is equal to PN plus NR. Again, these three points are collinear. That's why we have written here PR is equal to PN plus NR. The length of PR is given to be 20. Length of PN we have to find. So we'll take that as it is plus. The length of NR is 8. Again, if we transfer 8 to the left hand side, it will be 20 minus 8 is equal to PN. 20 minus 8, that's 12 is equal to PN. That means the length of PN is 12. Now we should find two ratios. First ratio is for triangle PQR, PN divided by NR. We have the lengths of both of these two segments. PN is 12 and NR is 8. That's Q1. So if we take the ratio 12 by 8, if we simplify that, we get 3 by 2 because 4 2 is 8 and 4 3 is 12. We'll call this as equation number 1. Again, consider the another ratio of two smaller segments PM and MQ. So if you take the ratio PM by MQ, the length of PM is 15. In length of MQ, we have just found to be 10. So 15 by 10. Again, if we simplify this, we get 3 by 2. We'll call this as equation number 2. If we compare both of these two equations, we have on the right hand sides 3 by 2 that means right hand sides of these two equations are equal so from equation 1 and 2 the left hand sides must be the left hand sides are pn divided by nr is equal to pm divided by mq now if you consider this triangle segment nm divides side pr and side pq in proportion so by the converse of basic proportionality theorem we can conclude that Segment NM must be parallel to the third side. So if we consider PR as the first, PQ as the second side, then the third remaining side must be RQ. That's why by converse of basic proportionality theorem, segment NM is parallel to side RQ. So that is we wanted to decide whether segment NM is parallel to side RQ or not. So by the converse of basic proportionality theorem, line NM is parallel side RQ. Let us have the next question. Again, the question is based on this diagram. Question is, measure of some angles are given in the diagram and from that we have to prove AP divided by PB is equal to AQ divided by QC. I will start with the given for triangle ABC, measure of angle APQ is 60 degree and measure of angle ABC is also 60 degree. So these two angles are congruent. Now, if we consider PQ and BC, these two lines and AB as their transversal, then 
these two angles are corresponding angles and we know that if there are two lines given corresponding angles are equal then those two lines are parallel that's why side pq must be parallel to side bc this is by corresponding angles test now for this triangle abc we have shown here that segment pq is parallel to side bc so if it is the case then for this triangle we can use the basic proportionality theorem that is for a triangle if there is one line segment which is parallel to one side of a triangle then that line divides the other two sides in the same proportion that means if we take the ratio of ap and pb that must be equal to the ratio of aq divided by qc this is by basic proportionality theorem that is we wanted to prove ap divided by pb is equal to aq divided by qc let us have the next question the diagram is given in this figure x is any point in the interior of triangle def point x is joined to the vertices of a triangle that is xd xe and xf now here it is given that segment pq is parallel to segment d segment qr is parallel to segment ef we have to fill in the blanks to prove that segment pr is parallel to side pf so here the first statement is there in triangle xde if we consider triangle xde for this one it is given that pq is parallel to de so in this bracket we should have reason given because it is given in the question now if it is the case for this triangle we can apply the basic proportionality theorem that means if pq is parallel to side de then by basic proportionality theorem it must divide side xd and side xe in proportion thus to have the ratio xp divided by dp so here the denominator of the first ratio we should have dp is equal to the second ratio is xq divided by qe so out of which the denominator is there we have to just take the numerator as xq this is because the basic proportionality theorem now if we consider triangle xef for that triangle also segment qr is given to be parallel to side ef so here also the reason is it is given now again if we apply the basic proportionality theorem for triangle xef as qr is parallel to ef segment qr must divide remaining two sides xe and xf in proportion so as to have the ratio of xq and qe that means in the first ratio we should have xq divided by qe that must be equal to the second ratio is xr divided by rf that's why xr divided by rf and we have written this by the basic proportionality theorem in this box we should have basic proportionality theorem now if we we have two equations first equation and the second equation if we compare these two equations as we can see xp divided by dp this is the this is the first ratio which is equal to xq by qe and in equation number 2 we have xq by qe is equal to xr divided by rf so here first ratio is equal to the second one and the second ratio is equal to third one that's why from equation 1 and 2 the first ratio must be equal to the third one that means xp divided by dp this is the first ratio it must be equal to the third ratio is xr divided by rf and this is from equation number 1 and 2 now if we consider these two ratios xp divided by dp that is equal to xr divided by rf so for triangle xdf we have segment pr divides side xd and side xf in proportion so by the converse of basic proportionality theorem segment pr must be parallel to the third side and the third side is df that's why segment pr is parallel to segment df that is we wanted to prove so these are the some examples in which we have used basic proportionality theorem and its converse to solve those problems i hope you understand this concept thanks for watching